So, Nocturnal Animals, directed by Tom Ford, might actually be the most imperfect film of the year, but at the same time, it's also one of the best. Ford. Tom Ford. Tom Ford. So that's right, this is Tom Ford's second film. He did a single man back in 2009, so it's been a long time between drinks with Tom Ford. <laughs> oh my god! So the film stars Amy Adams, Jake Gyllenhaal, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Michael Shannon, uh, Army Hammer, Army Hammer, Isla Fisher, Isla Jake Gyllenhaal. You said that already! Uh, Andrea Riseborough, Martin Sheen. It's got a great cast. The great cast comes together for this great story. Basically, it's about uh, Amy Adams plays a successful art designer. Uh, who's currently in the middle of a second marriage when she gets a basically the manuscript for a new novel from her first husband um, and basically we see that story that that actual the story of the novel play out in real time as she kind of reads it it's quite a bizarre concept yeah and for the most part it really works yeah this film is kind of crazy man like, like you've just got to slow down and really take it in because like this that. is a slow ass film but it is just, it's undeniably beautiful. It's magnetic as well. There's something about it that's just like, I, it just kind of brings you in. Yeah, yeah, look, everyone knows Tom Ford. I mean, like, he's a fashion designer. He's a hell of a rich guy. And I think the good thing here that we both discuss, you can see that this guy really cares about making films. He doesn't necessarily have a natural skill for it. Just watching it, I'm like, I don't know if this guy fully gets it, but you see that he really, really wants to and he's really trying his best. And that's why, for the most part, it's such an engaging film. Yeah, and it's a hell of a story and it really comes together. Yeah. I think on a deep analysis and like, a, like an essay, you'd really be able to construct it all and you can yeah, you see can and you can break put, it down and it see together. how this, all the elements come together. It is quite abstract and I think a lot of people might have issues with the fact that it is so open and there's actually, it feels like there's so much and by the end of it, it kind of is narrowed down so much and I think that might bother a couple of people. But the thing is, is the film is designed, it has all these puzzle pieces and basically it's, it's your job to put them together to basically understand it in the end. Exactly, yeah, I really try, I'm, I'm trying to tell you guys to make sure that when you do finish this film, sit down and talk with someone yeah. about it, talk with us, it's, just comment. <laughs> like, it's one of those types of films where I think a lot of people should see it. Again, this isn't the Gone Girl of this year because there is, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it. Again, it's almost like a daytime movie type It concept. almost feels like a perfected daytime but, film. But, and yet... It's so imperfect. It has great photography, a great soundtrack, great sound design, outstanding performances, and some really, really good writing. But, but at as the we same said, time, on the opposite side, you've also got some real clunky just like He's inexperienced. Tom Ford is inexperienced. This is only his second film. He's taken his time between them, so obviously he's, he's, there's been some form of growth between his first and second film here. But there's, there's this kind of, I don't know, this almost this youthful, considering the guy's 55, it's got some kind of like upcoming filmmaking thing it almost not doesn't feel like a student film but there's a couple of i guess mistakes that kind of make it almost feel like more of a personal project 100 percent, you can see this guy's learning on the job but at the same time he also has such a beautiful artistic and creative mind because the shots that he does create are fantastic the emotional response that you get from the or like in the audience you really do feel it within these characters as well and yeah. I, I don't know man like just, yeah, the shots alone were just so beautiful yeah, to watch. it looks like. pretty and it moves in a really interesting way. I guess that's the main the main thing with this is that it's just a really intriguing film. The whole film, it's, maybe it's tension and its stakes are never that high, but the whole ride is incredibly engaging and it's one of those things where everything I think that you feel about the film or everything that you see or everything that you've kind of uh, come to a conclusion about at the end all has been anchored throughout the film. He's done a great job of setting it up. It has a great opening and from that point it just kind of unravels and then at the end you just kind of piece it all back together. I, th I think that's the best thing about it. So yeah, look, I mean, if you enjoyed the trailers for this film, I recommend you going out and seeing this film. The performances are great. It's a hell of an experience. It's a hell of a ride and it's well worth seeing in theatres as well and it's well worth discussing afterwards. <laughs> It's pretty outstanding. I mean, there, there really is, there's a lot that doesn't really come together from it down to the fact that it kind of cuts around stuff too much and some of the lighting is a little bit off and unmotivated and just little kind of things like that that kind of just make it imperfect. But again, as we've said, it makes it feel so personal. And for me, that's why this film is an 8.3 for me. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Three. We'll go with that. An 8.3 out of 10. So, that was our review of Nocturnal Animals. Have you seen it yet? Did you like it? Did you hate did it? Did you like this video? Of course you did. Crave more banner? If so, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel down there somewhere. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Breaking Banner.